Good morning, everybody. This Monday morning, this beautiful Monday morning. Uh, welcome to the Coach Steve Show. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It just helps grow it. Uh, trying to reach a certain number of subscribers by the end of the week. Uh, follow on Apple and iTunes and Spotify. You can rate it there. Uh, follow me on X at Coach underscore Steve 72. The Coach Steve Show on X as well. And Instagram, Coach Steve 72 as well. Lots of social medias there. But good morning, everybody, that this is live. So good morning on this early morning. Start the week off with a bang. Let's get it going. Um, we're going to talk about the Illinois Final Line, of course, um, and the transfers that they have gotten into the portal. Uh, it's been crazy, the athletes they were able to get so quickly. And again, we've if you've watched any episodes, I've discussed it. This transfer portal stuff's crazy, and I know I'm about to sit here and brag about the players that Illinois has gotten, and they only gotten them because it was the transfer portal. But we're going to talk about one specific instance that maybe you can understand why he went back to Illinois, but we'll discuss it. So Illinois basketball obviously is losing – a lot of key players. They're losing like 80% or so of their scoring. You know, Terrence Shannon Jr. is going to be moving on. Um, Coleman Hawkins, he could come back, but he has decided he has spent four years at Illinois. He's decided to try to go to the NBA. Uh, don't ask unless the NCAA allows it. He's going to be gone. Goody, all those guys, like a lot of the scoring for Illinois is going to be gone. Dang Danger had entered the transfer portal, and not soon after entering the transfer portal, off off to Memphis. So, I mean, he's gone. It's just everybody, a lot of that is gone. So a lot of holes to fill, but we do have some good recruits coming in. Um, big news around the world was yesterday, was it yesterday, the day before, uh, Arizona transfer Kylan Boswell entered the transfer portal. He entered on the 14th, and then all of a sudden, the next day, here we are. He's coming to Illinois, high, highly committed guard. Um, enters the transfer portal, goes to Illinois, which that's a huge pickup for Illinois. Trey White, um, you know, the forward from Louisville, enters the transfer portal a couple days later, goes to Illinois. And to set it all off, Jake Davis. When he entered the transfer portal for Mercer, this was, you know, way at the beginning of the transfer portal, um, enters and goes to Illinois. So they got some decent transfers. So what does this mean for Illinois? What are, what are these guys going to bring to the table? What What is this going to look like? Well, one, you've got talent now. Like, you just added a lot of pieces to be talented Jake Davis played at Mercer, so I don't want to hear, well, he played at Mercer, and it's not Division I fo uh, basketball, not football, excuse me. Um, no, we're, we're not going to go about that. Um, this guy could shoot the basketball, and he brings a lot to the table. He is also very lengthy. Um, and so to add a guy to this roster – to be like a Coleman Hawkins, right? Like you're bringing a guy in, he's six, six, um, and he could shoot. So already you're never going to replace Coleman Hawkins for what he was and what he brought. Um, but he could shoot. Okay. Um, he started as a freshman for Mercer. He played 25 of the 33 games started 25 of the 33 games. Excuse me. He averaged nine points. He got 4.5 rebounds and one assist. Um, he shot 38.7% from the arc, uh, three point arc. And he just, um, he took only under five attempts per game. So I had to get some energy here. Um, Illinois as a team last year shot 35%. So to bring a guy that could shoot 38% is going to be big. Um, and I'm telling you. I know 6'6 doesn't sound like tall, but like I'm 6'5 and I'm tall and you want to add the wingspan and you're thinking about defense, especially in the Big Ten. That's what this guy's going to bring to the table. 
And if he can guard most guards to forwards out there, it's going to be good. And then the fact that you're bringing in three point shoot, I'm telling you right now, it is like a Domas Coleman Hawkins. And what I mean by that is you're just adding a guy that's kind of versatile. But like, think about when he brought in Domas. Let's think about that. Uh, Domas, he's six six, came from Southern Illinois. Um, he's a big guard that could handle the ball. Jake Davis could also bring that in because look what happened after a while after into the season, especially when they were getting in, in the NCAA tournament, they called it booty ball where they said, don't ask you're going to post up. You're going to do your thing here. Boom, go. They could do that with this Jake Davis guy. Um, don't ask maybe might be a little thicker of a player, but Jake Davis can bring that to the table as well. And then the fact that he, you know, don't, I'm not saying Domask was a horrible three point shooter, but his was more the mid range game, which is perfect. You know, not saying he couldn't hit threes or anything like that, but if this guy can hit threes, but also do the booty ball thing that was so successful this year and open up the floor because they're going to double team him, pass around, make the extra passes, that's what he's going to bring to the table. And so this is a big time gift for Illinois in the transfer portal. Um, then when you look at the transfer portal, still, Louisville, you know, we lose Dane Danger, goes to Memphis. Trey White enters the transfer portal from Louisville, and Illinois picks him up, which is this just – I mean, you just lost Terrence Shannon Jr. as a guard. Dome mask may be gone, so you, you're starting to look at what you lost, how could you replace him to fit into this offense. This this is a great pickup because um, he is a six foot seven guard slash forward six foot seven so you got jake davis which is like a domas coleman hawkins hybrid here now you're getting trey wright that could actually lean towards a coleman hawkins type that can handle the ball bring it up being six seven being able to guard other people on the floor um, for Louisville, he started 26 games. He averaged 12.3 points per game. He got six rebounds per game, and Louisville was not that good. So now if you put him on a better team, he is going to get rebounds. He's going to get his shots. Um, he has years of eligibility remaining, right? He shot 45.6 points, or sorry, 45.6% from the field, 30% from three. And he shot 75% from the free throw line. Um, this he's just gonna come in and fit right into what Brad Underwood wants to do. You're six foot seven, you can shoot the mid-range. That's what you need to do. You can get the rebounds. Awesome. Are you athletic enough to guard guys at the three-point line? Absolutely. So you have are you starting to see what's starting to happen here in this portal where not you can't replace Terrence Shannon Jr. You can't replace Coleman Hawkins. You cannot replace Don't Mask. Like you can't replace them as people. You can't really replace their game. But Brad Underwood started to see what worked for the offense. How can they replicate it? And also just bring in some athletes, right? And see where maybe some of the deficiency were. And you're starting to see these guys are pretty athletic. So the fast break opportunity offense that we saw this year is just going to continue into this year because of the guys he's bringing in. So you have a guy like Domas being brought in. This guy's going to be like Coleman Hawkins. Now, he's not going to be Coleman Hawkins. Never will be. Never said that. You just can't. But the fast break opportunities, the fact that he could get rebounds, if he's six seven forward, he can guard different people on the court and be versatile, which is what Brad Underwood wants. So maybe we can get a turnover, um, hold him to a bad shot, get the ball, go in fast break. That's what he is going to bring to the table. And he's not going to have to do everything. If Louis Louisville wasn't that great last year, he's not going to be relied to do everything. You're going to have other guys there with some experience. So to be around some experienced guys, be around an experienced coaching staff, that's what he's going to bring to the table. And then the big news, um, I believe it was yesterday um, on the 14th. Uh, Arizona had a guy enter the transfer portal, Kylan Boswell, who 
is from Champaign. He lived in Urbana. They left when he was in eighth grade. So he is coming back home to Champaign. He enters the transfer portal and immediately goes to Illinois. So he's a 6'2 guard, average 9.6 points per game, 3.6 assists. He played in 27 minutes per game for Arizona. Um, admits immediately that he's going to Illinois. He even says this in a quote. He said, Champagne Urbana has always been a part of my success. And I will wear Illinois on my chest um, with pride. I'm excited to pursue my dreams with Coach Underwood and his staff. Thank you, Lion Nation, for love and support. I am blessed to be coming home. Uh, he lived in the 217 area in eighth grade before he moved to California. At Urbana Middle School, he led the Tigers uh, to appearance in the state finals. So pretty good basketball player. Um, you know, he even says how Illinois was a top place to look at to go home. Um, he, this is another guy. So part of picking up some of these guys in the portal as well, like him. Now let's, let's talk about him first before we talk about it as a group. Picking him up is awesome because it's a guy that played at Arizona who was good. People picked Arizona to win the national championship. So coming from a place that had high expectations to win the national championship, did well to do well in the NCAA tournament. And now you have another, you have a guy here that can handle the basketball. That's part of the different things that have happened over the last couple of years is like, you have like a true point guard. And I don't know if he's going to be like a true point guard, but now you have a guy that can bring the basketball up. That's not always Terrence Shannon Jr. Um, like we've seen, the you know, last year. And this is a guy that can bring the basketball up with these other guys already on the team. And, and let's not forget, you're going to have uh, Sincere Harris coming back. You have Ty Rogers coming back. Lengthy guys that can play defense, get after and fast break. Adding these guys to it with experience playing time, that is going to be a dangerous combination that we're about to see with Illinois. And this is just a transfer portal. We're not even talking about other guys. So to have a guy like this coming in is just awesome to come in as a guard, bring the basketball up. Um, You know, he's these guys that he's bringing in aren't just one and done guys. They have multiple years that they can play. So if things go well, they have the opportunity to stay. And then Mr. Basketball in Illinois, uh, Morris Johnson, he was named 2024 Illinois Mr. Basketball. Um, he, ha- you know, he's committed to Illinois. You're bringing a guy that played at, in a Catholic school. Then he went to Thornwood, um, he earned Mr. Basketball of Illinois. He's coming. He's a six foot nine forward center. Um, at Thornton, he averaged 20 points per game, 15 rebounds his senior year. I mean, in the he uh he's a four-star recruit, 29th overall prospect on 24-7 sports. I mean, adding him to the mix too. I know he's a freshman. But with these guys multiple years of playing, then you're going to add a six foot nine guy to it. That I mean, I live up in the suburbs. Is a really good basketball player. Your name, Mister Basketball of Illinois. Like that's a lot. So you're not just adding transfer guys. You're also getting guys like this. That's recruiting. And I recall a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, that people commented on videos of mine or said on Twitter. These guys don't want to play for Brad Underwood. He's too in their face. They leave because of him. And why in the world did Coleman Hawkins come back? Why in the world did Terrence Shannon Jr. come back? Why did Domas choose to leave Southern Illinois where he was doing pretty well and go to Illinois? Why are these guys in the portal going to Brad Underwood. Hmm. Like why? Uh, you all told me that Brad Underwood was too in their face. You told me that he yells too much, that he doesn't relate well to the players. I'm not seeing that because if that were true, I even remember on my YouTube channel, somebody saying that this was a long ago video. They said that these players talk 
they're going to tell players not to go to Illinois because of who he is and how he acts. Hmm. And why are they still going to Illinois? Why do you see players on X talking about Brad Underwood and talking him up? People enter the transfer portal for a number of different reasons. Sometimes it's the coach. Sometimes they just feel like other guys are going to go. Maybe they're going to make more name, image, and likeness money. Maybe if we actually dig deep, maybe they're actually moving closer to home. Maybe they just don't fit right in the offense. Maybe they want the ball more. Like we can't sit, you can't sit there and say it's the coach because if it were true, he wouldn't have a job. They wouldn't win. People wouldn't be coming. So y'all just crazy when they come up with that stuff. But these transfer guys coming in is going to help us not, hopefully, not miss a beat. The next step is going to be what kind of people are they, right? Because. Two years ago, it just didn't seem like that team was fit together in the locker room. And then this year, it was more fit in the locker room. And I think they will fit because Brad Underwood has really adapted to the portal and I think kind of realized that two years ago. And so that's why you saw this year in the locker room, it was way more camaraderie going on, way more fun. And so I think that he's really going to adapt to that. But these guys are going to bring a lot to the table. They're we got a guard, we got a guy like Domask. You're bringing in a tall forward, and then you've got a freshman player coming in that's six nine that hopefully can come in and make an impact to help fill that dang danger void a little bit. And then you're like I said, you got Sincere Harris saying he's coming back. You got Ty Rogers. You've got other guys on the team that are coming back, and it doesn't seem like they can be done in the portal. There's other guys that. Um, that some point here could be saying that they're coming to Illinois. Um, and that would be just, you know, other guys, if you look at the transfer portal, like crystal ball type thing here, um, a lot of people have committed. A lot of people have not. Um, the one player, where did he go? Lost it. I apologize. Ah, here we go. AJ Store. He entered the transfer portal on March 28th. I don't think he's really fully committed yet, but the transfer portal crystal ball projects that he could go to Illinois, which is crazy to go from Wisconsin to to Illinois. Um, went to IMG Academy. Uh, he's a he's a guard. He's six seven. So just add another length if this is true. That's what the crystal ball holds. I'm not saying, I'm not reporting that he is, but to go there would be awesome to bring him into Illinois. So, I mean, just continuing to add to that backcourt, continuing to try to fill the void. You're losing 80 to 86% of your scoring and these guys leaving. Um, so I know Illinois is not done with the transfer pool. I know they're not done with regular recruiting. So good for Brad Underwood and staff and the whole uh, Illinois nation. I don't think we're going to miss a beat. I think we're going to come and still be competitive. And the only time is going to tell as we continue to look at this and they get back into practices in the summer and you're able to see these guys. But good for Brad Underwood getting these guys. These are huge transfers to get in, huge signing to get in. So Illini Nation, I think we're going to be okay. We're still going to still be competitive next year, which is going to be awesome. Playing in the Big Ten, which is really good at basketball. So um Good for Illinois to get these guys. Awesome. They're going to be fun to watch again, hopefully. Um, so just wanted to talk about that. Make sure if you're watching or you stumble upon this, just do a quick like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, the podcast is on Apple and Spotify. If you could follow and rate it there as well. Uh, Twitter at Coach underscore Steve 72 on or X. The Coach Steve Show on X. Instagram, all the same, all the same thing. TikTok, Coach Steve 72 all that stuff. Um, check out all the affiliates. Leave the comments. Like, what do you guys think about these transfers? What do you guys think about what they're going to bring to the table for Illinois? Are these good pickups? Have you heard anything about character issues and stuff? Because I haven't. Um, and you Brett Underwood haters always leave comments. I always love to interact with the Brett Underwood haters as well. So thank you guys for watching and or listening. Have a good day. See you guys next time.